modern periodic table the long form of periodic table it has seven rows which are called periods and 18 columns which are called groups let us begin with understanding what are periods elements in the same period have same number of shells in their atoms shells are also called orbits in which electrons exist for example we talk about sodium and magnesium they belong to the same period 3 sodium's atomic number is 11 that means it has 11 electrons when we arrange the electrons in shells the electronic configuration of sodium becomes 2 8 1 two electrons in the first orbit eight electrons in the second orbit and remaining one electron in the last orbit similarly magnesium is the 12th element its atomic number is 12 it has 12 electrons so they are arranged as 2 8 2 both of them have three shells so they are belonging to the period 3 similarly if we take potassium and calcium potassium is 19th and calcium is 20th element potassium's atomic number 19 it has 19 electrons they are arranged as 2 8 8 1 and electrons in calcium are arranged as 2 8 8 2 they have four shells that means they are belonging to the fourth period look at the first period it has only two elements so it is called the shortest period then look at second and third periods both of them have eight elements each so they are called the short periods then fourth and fifth period both of them have 18 elements each so they are called long periods then come to the sixth one sixth one already has 18 elements plus more 14 elements are placed below which belong to the sixth row itself so total there are 32 elements present in the sixth period that is why it is known as the longest period just like the sixth period even seventh period is showing that it should have 32 elements because some of the elements are placed below but the seventh period is not having all the 32 elements some of the elements are missing because they are still to be included in the periodic table so they are blank spaces so the seventh period is called the incomplete period now let us come to groups groups are the columns of the table elements belonging to the same group show similar physical and chemical properties the group number indicates the number of valence electrons in the atom of an element. What do you mean by valence electrons? The electrons present in the last orbit. For example, let's consider sodium. Sodium's electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. It has one electron in the last orbit, so it is placed in group 1. In group 2, we have magnesium because its electronic configuration is 2A2. In the last orbit, it has 2 electrons. So, it is placed in group 2. Then we have aluminium. Its atomic number is 13. So, its electronic configuration is 2A3. Its last orbit has 3 electrons. So, it has 3 valence electrons. So, it should be placed in group 3. But in group 3, we do not have normal elements, we have transition elements. So that is the reason aluminium is placed in group 13. Then let's talk about carbon. Carbon is the sixth element. Its electronic configuration is 2,4. In the last orbit, carbon has 4 electrons. So it is placed in group 14. Similarly, we talk about chlorine. Chlorine is the 17th element. Its electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. 7 electrons in its last orbit, so it is placed in the group 17. So remember one thing. Valence electrons in the atoms of the elements ranging from 3 to 7 will belong to the groups 13 to 17. Elements belonging to the same group are said to have similar physical and chemical properties. So they are said to be in a same family. Okay, now when we talk about group 1, all the elements are called alkali metals except for hydrogen. All these elements form alkalis in water. Alkalis are nothing but water soluble bases. Let's talk about group 2. Group 2 elements are called alkaline earth metals. These are called alkaline earth metals because their oxides are alkaline in nature and they are found in earth. Group 16 elements. 
they are called chalcogens because they are found usually in ores of metals then we have 17th group these elements in the group 17 are called halogens halogens react with metals to form halide salts and group 18 elements are called inert gas elements now let us see how to locate elements in the modern periodic table according to their electronic configuration for example let's talk about hydrogen first hydrogen's atomic number is one so it has only one electron which goes in the first orbit so hydrogen has only one orbit and one electron in the last shell so it belongs to period one and group one similarly we talk about helium helium's atomic number is two so it has two electrons and the two electrons are located in the first orbit itself so helium also has only one orbit so it is placed in the first period but it has two electrons in the last orbit that means it has completed its duplet state it is stable it does not react with anything it is inert so it is placed in the 18th column having inert gas elements then we have lithium lithium is the third element its electronic configuration becomes 2 comma 1 because it has three electrons now because it has two shells it will belong to the second period and because its valence electron is only one it will belong to the first group and suppose if we have carbon carbon is the sixth element so its electronic configuration is 2 comma 4 now because it has two shells it will belong to period 2 and it has four valence electrons so it will belong to 14th column similarly we can place all the other elements in their positions now when we talk about the groups the 18 groups they are numbered as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on till 18 but there is one more way of numbering these groups and that is the IUPAC way for example if we talk about the first column it has elements having one valence electrons so it is numbered as Roman number 1 the second group is numbered as Roman number 2 the third group which is having the transition metals 3 to 12 are numbered as 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Now when we come to 13, group 13 elements also have 3 electrons in the last orbit. So it is again labeled as Roman number 3, 14 is labeled as Roman number 4, 15 as 5, 16 as 6, 17 as 7 and 18 as 8. But then what is the difference now between the normal elements and the transition elements? So that is the reason why we label them as A and B. All the normal elements are A and all the transition elements will be labeled as B. So when we talk about group 1, it will be labeled as 1A. 2 will be labeled as 2A. From 13, it will be labeled as 3A, then 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A and 8A. But when we talk about groups 3 to 12, they will be labeled as 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B and so on.